<laughs> she loves you. I, I do love, love her. I do I love her. We love each other. I do. And we've, we've known each other yes. for so long. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you didn't long. have a make-out session with Jane. I did. And this How isn't a new cause. Well, but not in public anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but this isn't a new cause for me. No. I've, you know, we've been together on... Yeah. Environmental issues for That's decades right. and decades. Yeah, it, everything old seems new because we are fighting fights that we fought and and corrected, and now we're having to go back and do this again. Mm -hmm. And you've been arrested four times so far, and you spent the night yeah. in the in the joint last Friday. <laughs> well, it wasn't a prison, and it wasn't a normal cell. It was, uh, <coughs> I mean, a jail. It was a holding holding cell for people yeah. waiting sentencing, and, right. and uh, you know. Conditions weren't great for old bones like mine on a metal slab, but the most, you know, the saddest part of it was was seeing how, because our country doesn't doesn't give enough money to resources like social safety nets and mental health institutions, there's so many people in jail, right. you know, for poverty and racism and mental health issues. All the bad things, yeah. And it's only going to get worse as yeah. climate gets worse. I and know. More and more people are harmed and worried about it every day. Yeah. And so you, it was sad. You convinced friends to help you in this mission. Sam Watterson, one of them, Ted Danson, Rosanna Arquette, and Katherine Keener yeah. have all been in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you've admitted you have a platform. You know, you you are at an age where you know what you're doing. But are you are you trying to tell the next generation coming up go as far as you can, break the law, get arrested, do what you need to do? Well, I, I am following what the young people are doing. I'm not telling them. They're inspiring me. Not just Greta Thunberg, yeah. the Swedish uh, student, but uh, the Sunrise Movement, the Extinction That's Movement. Right. I mean, all these young people who are leaving school to, to protest their future that we're taking from them. Yeah. And they're a huge inspiration to me. <coughs> Seeing these young people carrying the burden of protesting the fossil fuel industry, I say, no, no, we've got to get out there and join them. Yeah. And so but is there a I've way to do them. it without breaking the law? You think of all the peaceful protests that have led to change. I, I worry about living in an uncivil society. No, I agree with you, but you know something? Climate activists have been doing this for 40 years. 40 years. We've been writing articles, and we've been giving speeches. We've been putting the facts out to the American public and politicians, and we've marched and we've rallied peacefully. And the fossil fuel industry is doing more and more and more to harm us and our environment and the, our young people's futures. And so we have to up the ante and engage in civil disobedience, which means risking getting arrested. And because it's going to require more and more and more and more people like all of you in the streets demanding, even the scientists, and you know, scientists are, scientists are kind of nerdy and neutral, but even the scientists the climate scientists are saying, this is, we're not going to be able to turn it around. We yeah. have 11 years to avoid catastrophe. It's so and scary. we can't do it unless people mobilize by the millions in the streets, you know, folks I out there.